In this video, we're going to focus on the listeners option in the Chart.js plugin for data labels. And with this option, you can do a lot of fun items. So basically, you can do it also in Chart.js, but with this, you can do something that I believe will have high value for uh, to make something more interactive. So let's start and explore this. So basically, what is the listeners uh, option here? So if you go down here, let's search for the listeners option. And it's basically an object. If you click on it, in short, the listeners option is a function. So with this function, you can do multiple functions here. They are already working out of the box, meaning that it's a mouse uh, mouse out or mouse move, mouse out, click, touch, uh, touch move, touch end, etc., etc. So there's many options here what you can do. Yes, and with this means that you can create a function here. If they click on one of your data labels, you can show something else. So let's do something. This is really where you want to go with Chart.js. And this is the, the most fun part. It's basically this. So let's say here, I will create a new div. I'm going to give this div a class, well, not legend, but maybe uh, extra info, for example. Well, uh, or just say extra or info. And what we want to do here is just very simple right now. I want to show this the moment we click on it and hide it the moment we, we don't go or when we click again on it or basically when you mouse over it, etc, etc. Something like that. So what we're going to do is I will make it very straightforward. So we say here, info, we just say this and I say uh, style. So I'm going to put it in here or well, we can do it there above. I'll say here, info class, info class display none very straightforward nothing fancy and I'll say here this uh, this is the extra info box for this wonderful wonderful chart all right nothing fancy if I refresh now you don't even see it so that's fair, fine so what we want to do now is we want to create a listener that will respond to it at the moment we click on it that this should be shown simple as that so what we're going to do here is we're going to use the listener function here so we say here the, or the listener command listener sorry make sure it's an s and then within here we're going to say how will we trigger well on click so the moment we click on it you can see here you have the click function here you will see here as well the moment you click you create the function here and then you say context just to trigger it so we have this and then we have here the function in here we're going to do something so we say here well what we're going to do is we're going to get this document here with the query selector we're going to get this class so we say here document document dot query selector and then we're going to get the class which is a string and then we say class is a dot and then we're going to get the class name which is info if i'm not mistaken am i correct yes info and all we're going to do here is we're going to say here dot style dot uh, display and then we can say here equals and then we say here uh, inline or let's say block that's simple so when we click on it we want to show here the block so we're going to save that go back here refresh we click on it and there you are so once we click on it it will show of course here maybe we could do it differently to hide it as well how can we do this well, we can do a toggle as well we can maybe here create a toggle option we can say here um this would be probably more suitable thing is this dot class list dot add we're going to add class we say add toggle so if i do this we save that and then let's open up the developer tab just double check if i have it correctly so what we're going to do here is i'm going to look for this class of info all right just pay attention here if i toggle this if i click on it oh it doesn't respond can i see no all right so no problem did i do it correctly add class list add and then maybe we need to make it in a bracket all right try again there you are so once i click on it, you can see here now add toggle and i'm surprised that apparently you cannot untoggle it all right fair enough it's not that flexible However, we could do it maybe with a mouse over and mouse out. However, what we want to do then here, basically this show, I was planning to do the toggle, but that's not possible. Apparently it's not that 
effective here at least toggle or well um, maybe it should be toggle I realize that's it all right that's the one sorry my mistake I didn't put in the toggle it should be toggle instead of add because you're adding it you force only to add so here basically now what we can do here would be this is really fun and this is really the nicest part of chart.js is the moment you can start to to surprise your viewer with more information without them even being aware of it. They click on it, they hover over it, they do all kinds of stuff, then they see it. So what we say here is the following, dot info dot, uh, what was the class name? If, if I miss correct, toggle. Is that the class name? Yes, toggle is the class name. And then we say here, display block, save that, refresh. And now if you click on this, you can see here, as we click on it, this is wonderful. So now we create a nice way of showing extra data, create a interactivity. We could even add up the colors here. Maybe we can do that kind of things as well. So let's do that one. That will be fun as well. And then we say here, I'll just say your background color. Oh, you have to copy again the document. So we say the document dot query selector. And here this dot info class uh sorry this wouldn't be not classes but style and maybe we can hide the toggle for now we're not going to use any toggle and i want to remove here as well the hiding part and all i will do here is say background color equal well it's equal basically the data index context that's very similar to what we had here basically we could copy just this all we say equal this context chart data data sets and then data no not data but background color and the reason why background color is because we're going back here let me say here the following we go from my chart or the context then say data data sets and then we go to the back, background color or border color border color is more more stronger so i will get the border color Contact and make sure the index here is zero. Save that. Put in here semicolon. Save. Refresh. And we should now have nice background color effect on here. And with this, you can play so much. And now, this is why Chart.js becomes fun. Because the basics of Chart.js is quite static and standard. But this here makes it far more interactive. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.